The next step for my 286 build is to add some RAM. Previously, in the last video, I finished getting my ROM up and running, and I'm using a pair of half megabyte ROM or flash, flash memory chips, actually, uh, to serve as my ROM in that top one megabyte. Now what my plan is, is to add a bottom one megabyte of RAM. So I'll start at zero for the RAM. And the chips I'm gonna use are these AS6C4008s and uh, those are 512k of uh, bytes so 512 kilobytes or half a megabyte and just like the rom i'm going to use a pair of them so that each can provide a byte and that double byte will be my word that i provide to the processor uh, as far as how i'm going to understand what is uh, memory data read or write i'm going to uh, continue to use the COD and A, MIO, S1, and S0. And uh, if I look at the notes to the right here, I want to make sure A23 down to A20 are at zero. I want to make sure MIO is one, COD and A is at zero, S1, S0 equals one, or equals one zero. And uh, if that is all true, it should correspond to the highlighted area in this table. And what you're gonna see that is my memory data read or memory data write. Uh, also, I've got the S1 signal that will tell me if I am gonna do a write so I can leverage that to enable writing to those RAM chips. Uh, here is a, an updated schematic that I've been working on, uh, simply adding in uh, the portion for the RAM chips. And if I zoom into that just a little bit, uh, you'll see that I've added in some, uh, basically some decode logic. And as I come over to this, uh, what I'm looking at is, you know, this that I shared on that previous slide. Uh, so I need to make sure that A23 uh, down to 20 uh, are all zeros. So just going to take a bunch of uh, OR gates. Uh, and these are chips I have on hand. That's why I'm using it uh, in this setup. But uh, just making sure that uh, they're all zeros, and if they're all zeros, I'll feed a one in up to this NAND gate. Uh, MIO, I want to have one, so that'll feed in here. Uh, the COD int A, I want it to be zero, so I'm going to invert it. If it's zero, that'll feed me a one up here also. And then I've got an exclusive OR, so I don't want S1 and S0 uh, to both be zeros, and I don't want them both to be ones. Uh, it can be one or the other. And so with this, uh, I should get, uh, in the case of a 0, 1 or a 1, 0, I will get a positive a 1 out of that. So if those four are all true, uh, that will then drop down this output enable right here. Uh, so that's how I'm going to basically check that I should be working with the RAM versus the ROM versus other I.O. or whatever it might be. Uh, as with the ROMs, I'm going to use this BHE for the chip enable on the high chip. And then on the low chip, I'm going to use a zero that drives that chip enable. And you'll also notice, uh, just like in my last uh, quick update video, I am starting with uh, address one being fed into a zero all the way up to address 19 being fed into A18. And that's the case on both of these chips. And again, uh, that was so that I can pair these up uh, and get a full utilization of that, um, that memory. Uh, and uh, if you haven't seen my, my last uh, ROM video, you could go watch that where I provided a quick update of, of that change. Uh, S1 then uh, will tell me if I'm writing, so I'm going to go ahead and invert that, and that will be my write enable. Uh, that is an, an act of low, so if S1 is high, I will bring this write enable low so that I can write to the memory. Uh, and if I'm thinking through all that correctly and I haven't messed something up, uh, that should give me uh, my first megabyte of RAM. I did also throw an inverted uh, RAM access. Again, that goes low when I'm gonna use the RAM. I'm gonna invert that so that I can run that over to uh, this uh, status LED that I will add uh, to the board also. 
and that should be it for the configuration. Uh, now, maybe one additional comment. I'm doing a lot of um, maybe just building out this glue logic or decode logic, enable logic uh, with a bunch of different ICs at this point. Uh, at some point, when I have a better feel for what the design is, is turning into, I am going to go ahead and update that to, to use either a PLD or a PSOC or something other than a whole series of 7400, uh, uh, 7400 ICs. Uh, so that's all I've got for this video. Uh, just a quick uh, plan for my RAM. I will try to get that uh, connected and running, and I'll post an updated video uh, if I uh, get some updates on that.